Hello and welcome to another Canio video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can easily spoof in any iOS device whether it is an iPhone or an iPad without any hassle of jailbreaking or sideloading any other apps. Stick around till the end of this video and find out more. Today we are going to take a look at Tenorshare's iAnigo software. Also this video is sponsored by Tenorshare's iAnigo. They were really kind to give you guys 30% discount on their software and give me 5 licenses to, to give to you guys for free. Watch the video till the end to find out how you guys can participate in this giveaway. Let's say that you uh, want to spoof in Pokemon Go or any other AR location based games or you are just trying to have fun by switching your current location to anywhere in the world. In that case, iAnigo is really a great tool for this job. This software is really easy to download. Just follow the first link in the description box below and click on the download button. It is a very lightweight software and works in both Windows and Mac. After you have downloaded the software, install it in your Windows or Mac computer. After that, plug in your iOS device to your computer. The software comes with all the USB drivers, so you don't need to install anything else. Alright, after you have downloaded the software, it will come to your home screen and uh, uh, you have to double click on it to get it started. So let's wait for the software to open up. It is a very lightweight and clean interface software. As you can see, there's three main options here on the left hand side. This one is direct teleportation option. You enter a coordinate and then select and then start on press the start button and it will directly teleport you to that location. You can also select from the map and then it will teleport you to that uh, selected location as well. This one is called single movement option. You can select a start and end. So basically you are selecting uh, from your location to another location and it will start tracing a route to the uh, nearest route to that location and uh, your character will start moving to that location. And this one is multiple spot movement. It's basically same as single spot movement but you can choose multiple different routes and then uh, maybe you would want to draw a circle so you uh, select multiple or op, uh, multiple uh, routes or multiple spots and it will basically uh, circle around or go from one spot to another spot okay so after uh, you have opened your software iNego software you have to plug in your ios device into your computer after you have done that you have to press enter Okay, so it's asking uh, for my passcode to unlock the device. So uh, after you have uh, connected your device to your computer, uh, it will uh, pop up uh, an option that uh, do you want to trust this computer? You have to select yes. And then it will pop up a passcode of your lock screen. So you have to enter that passcode. And, uh, and after that, you should be good to go. And... Um, yeah so uh, previously i have spoofed spoofed into singapore so that's why it's uh, giving me that option uh this showing my location to singapore but uh if you want to return to your original location after you have spoofed you have to just close the um, software and then restart your device so let's just enter a coordinate and uh, it gives me this location and if i press start to modify it will take directly uh, it will uh, take me directly to this location so let's fire up pokemon go and uh, let's see if it works just uh, if it works or not let's say that we want to move to pier 39 so let's press start to modify and as you can see it instantly modifies my location from singapore to pier 39 and as you can see in my uh, pokemon go app that yes i have been transferred to pier 39 as well and um, that's how easy it is with this software that's how easily this single uh, route option works you can choose any location in this map if I choose click here and then press start to modify it will directly take me to the location it's as simple as this is 
so here under here it will say how much distance it is from this location to this location it's uh, roughly 40 meters so also you have to take it take into account the uh, soft band locations um, i have made a video on that as well you can you guys can check it out here and uh, let's move on to another feature which is called single spot movement and uh, basically it gives you a lot of options in the left hand side here as well so let's say that i want to move uh, to this spot right here and then uh, in the left hand side you can you guys can see there is a speed option this is the walking speed this is the cycling speed and this is the car speed these two speeds will be very handy when you try to hatch an egg or something like that so let's say i want to move to cycling speed and uh, in here there's like move dash times so let's say i want to move three times so what it will do is it will go from here to here and then come back from here to here and then it will repeat three times like this so let's click start to move and as you can see it already has created a path from this spot to this spot and uh, it it is going to move from uh, move along with this line so as you can see in my pokemon go app it it's also the character has also started moving and this is very helpful if you want to avoid getting banned so Niantic will think okay this guy is moving along with the path a certain path he is not jumping from building to building so yeah this is very helpful if you want to avoid any kind of ban you can uh, pause at any time and then stop to select another location let's stop for now and uh, let's choose a uh, uh, let's choose a bit nearer like this one and then let's see if the move two times works or not so i'll crank up the speed a little bit and then i'll press start to move so it goes to this spot and then as you can see it's coming back to the previous spot okay so it moved two times between these two spots okay so this is going to be very helpful when you are trying to hatch an egg or something like that so let's see um, what other feature do we have here we have the multiple spot movement option let's enter that All right, so this is the multiple spot movement option. This is basically the same uh, as the previous one, but you can select different routes and you can choose your own routes here. You don't have to rely on the artificial intelligence generated routes. So I have chosen eight routes in between. You can click on each separate routes. And then uh, if I uh, crank up the speed here a little bit and let's start moving. As you can see uh, it works just like it should my character is moving inside Pokemon Go and uh, here the character is moving between eight different spots and all are created by me it I don't have to rely on the AI if I don't want to so this is going to be really handy sometimes when I don't want to just uh, go to a spot and I want to go really quickly so I can use multiple spot option and like for example uh, I know that uh, there's like uh, one Pokemon here one Pokemon here one Pokemon there and just I want to quickly move between these three spots so I can press one here one there and one here and uh, yeah this will be really handy in that kind of situations so these are the three main features of this uh, software you can press on this icon to uh, return to your like uh, see where you are at right now you can uh, press this option to restore your true coordinates or uh, your actual uh, location and then uh, minus out to zoom out and then plus to zoom in so these are the main features of this software and uh, it is very simple and uh, really handy software if you want to quickly go into pokemon go and catch some pokemons do some ratings and stuff like that so yeah so i have been using this software for a week now 
and trust me it is really easy to use and no hassle at all just download it plug in your device choose a location and play everything works just like it should although there is no joystick feature in it so that's why i'm giving it a 9 out of 10 if you want to win one license of this software make sure you comment your email and operating system either windows or mac down in the comment section and Next week, I will announce the winners and send the license to you guys. And again, thank you so much, iNego, for sponsoring this video. This, uh, this software's download link along with the coupon code will be in the first link in the description box. That's all from me and I will see you guys in another Canyon video.